Hey, what's up gamers, and 5150 here, and I am kind of back. Yes, it, it does hurt to talk still, but I wanted to get uh, some new information out there on fixing the uh, crashes that you get in Elden Ring on PC, uh, mostly with Steam version. I spent a lot of time trying to recreate um, some crashes uh, throughout the week, and hopefully these ones will be able to help you if the other ones did not. If you haven't checked out my wife's uh, crash fix on this, and I so happy that she helped us out and did the voiceover that was her very first vo voiceover so if you can hit a like on that video that's very much appreciated uh she has never really done voiceover and uh, i was I, i'm really glad that she did that for me while i was unable to speak at all anyway um uh we won't go through the uh, verified game files or anything we're gonna go through this really quick because this does hurt to talk right now so let's go ahead and uh, look at this one of the things um you can go to elden ring uh go on to properties now this is where you went before to verify the integrity of game files but under general you can also type in dash windowed then dash no border and then just you know go out of it you'll be fine uh it will go into a no border so let's go to the next fix sorry gonna try to make this quick uh one another thing uh turning off the steam overlay uh in here under settings steam or steam settings you'll see the enable steam overlay in in game menu now this doesn't just account for um the steam overlay if you have any other one as well you want to make sure you go ahead and disable them um to try that as well uh if you have ea running origin uh if you have ubisoft they all have their own in-game uh overlays that you want to disable if you look in uh discord uh, you'll see there's an overlay in there as well. I always try to turn it off. I've had a lot of problems in other games, uh, Modern Warfare, uh, Battlefield, everything. I've, I've always had some problems with some types of uh, overlays because I always run uh, Afterburner and Afterburner has an overlay on it as well and sometimes it will collide. Anyway, so next, next thing, you wanna make sure you also add an exception to your antivirus. That is another thing that you want to try to make sure that uh, you add an exception for uh, there's a lot of antiviruses out there You'll have to check with the antivirus that you're using how to uh, go ahead and add an exception to it Next uh, update your GPU drivers now that sounds easy and uh, it's kind of a, a no-brainer But you can also go ahead and try the studio driver uh, Instead it's yeah best for creative apps and stuff like that but you know it can it can make 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 some of a difference so uh, I do stick with the, the game driver if you if you uh, uninstall your driver you'll be able to um, uh, install a fresh copy of your driver to do that you just need to go to your uh, start menu or what whatever you go go to your d device manager you'll see under uh, the see display uh, you'll see you can uninstall it I usually disable and then uninstall and then uh, you can go ahead and get a new driver from GeForce Experience. But I do recommend going to NVIDIA itself and downloading the driver manually and installing it by itself. Uh, next, make sure that your Windows is up to date. As you can see, mine is currently not up to date. Uh, I needed to do that tonight. Uh, just try to make sure you have your Windows up to date. I'm on Windows 11, uh, Windows 10 as well. Uh, you want to make sure that you are up to date. Another thing you want to do is make sure that you uh, are using your dedicated GPU uh, if you have an AMD system or anything like that uh, even on uh, anything like an Intel if you have something you just want to make sure that it is set and you can do that also say in here you just go to program settings Elden Ring and then you'll go ahead and I don't have a an, another uh, GPU you just want to make sure it's dedicated it'll be usually the second or third one here I'll tell you which one to use like if I wanted to use uh, a different one for OpenGL I can change it to you know the RTX 2080 Ti so you just want to look at that as well uh, next thing uh, which is one thing that I, I want to recommend is these two, which is DirectX 12. Make sure you have the latest version. Uh, Reinstalling it, any of those people out there that were unable to clear your cache, this should help it um, instead of clearing the cache because you need to be in administrator mode to be able to delete your cache file. Um, so 
reinstalling your DirectX will help. And then you also want to install a new version of uh, Microsoft Visual C++, or not a new version, but reinstall your version of C++. Uh, Steam usually takes care of this uh, whenever you install a game. Uh, you probably see it pop up whenever you get a new game and it's annoying, but that's usually for a reason. I don't remember seeing it with Elden Ring. Uh, the other last, last thing is just basically going ahead and running directly from the folder, uh, the game folder, double click on Elden Ring, or you can try with the protected game, which I think that's the one where you actually would want to try. But yes, uh, that can help as well. I hope this helps you guys. Um, and like I said, thank you very much for all the likes on the last video uh, for the crash fix. Uh, my wife, you know, worked very hard on being able to do that. She's like, she definitely didn't want to do it at first, but she did have a lot of fun. And uh, we ended up doing another one for one of the bosses uh, that I helped her out, typed it out. And I definitely recommend looking at that one as well. Uh, there is uh, outtakes on those, so if you want to watch those, it, it is appreciated. And like I said, uh, I should be kind of back now. It does hurt to talk, speak still, but I should be back in full course you know, within a week here uh i'll try to get stuff out during the weekend as much as i can anyway i want to thank everybody for watching this video make sure you hit that like button definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel you'll take care and happy gaming